God bless you. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Landmark Church of Holiness through Christ Outreach Ministry, located at 1523 West Washington Street in South Bend, Indiana, where we preach the gospel without compromise, the unadulterated, unmixed, true gospel of deliverance, reaching out to a dying world, letting you know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Set your heart, your mind, your ears to receive this man of God who will show you the way to eternal life. Receive ye him, our pastor, Bishop Thomas H. Willis, Jr. God bless you. I invite you to watch us every Sunday afternoon on Facebook Live at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the page of Bishop Thomas H. Willis, Jr. or Beverly Willis, and to listen to our evening service every Sunday on WUBS 89.7 at 5.30 p.m. to 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time in South Bend, Indiana. We also have a Sunday school conference call line every Saturday evening at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time taught by Evangelist Beverly Willis and Missionary Julia Brown. The telephone number is 605-313-5142 and the access code is 388-999-POUND. If you are not able to tune in at this time, you can call the playback number, which is 605-313-5153 using the same access code. If your phone carrier charges for this line, please hang up and dial 716-293-9720 and then redial the 605 number and the access code. We are so happy to be able to share what God has put in our hearts and mind that you may be able to be blessed of God and strengthened in holiness. Now we'll have prayer rendered by Evangelist Beverly Willis. Let's say amen for her as she comes. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this another day. We appreciate you, God, for all the many blessings you've bestowed upon us, oh God. We ask that you bless in this service on today, God. Move by your power and your spirit, God, in the name of Jesus. Let your word have free course, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Bless the speaker on today, oh God. Move on him in a mighty way, oh God. Anoint the words, oh God, that are going to come from his mouth. God, in the name of Jesus, let your word go forth, oh God, Lord, to all the listeners, oh God, healing the sick, oh God, saving souls, reclaiming the backsliders, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, have your way, oh God, have your way, oh God, your will be done in this service on today, God, your will be done in this service on today, God, in the name of Jesus, and we'll give you all the glory, honor, and praise for all that you do for us, in Jesus' name, thank you, God. Amen. Scripture, Sister Tierra Frazier. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'll be reading for your hearing Psalms 119, verse 40. Behold, I have loaned after thy precepts, quicken me in thy righteousness. Let thy mercies come also unto me, O Lord, even thy salvation according to thy word. So shall I have wherewith to answer him that reproacheth me, for I trust in thy word. And take not thy, the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, yeah. for I have hoped in thy judgments. Yeah. So shall I keep thy law continue forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearing and, and receiving of his holy word. Amen. 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 Now let's let us receive our pastor, Bishop Thomas H. Willis Jr. Let's say amen for him as he comes. Amen. I come to glory by his name. I come to glory by the name of the Lord. The glory by his name. I come to glory by his name. By his name. I come to glory. Yeah. 
church how about you amen. amen i magnify love god because he has brought me this far by faith yes. meaning and depending on him yes. amen. amen and i got something to be thankful for all right, all right, you know right. why because i'm still living amen. i'm still in the land of the living yes. oh y'all better come on with me now therefore amen when we come to church we come to praise god and glorify god for who we are amen. who he is amen yes. The holy wise God. Yes, amen. Glory, honor, and power and oh, the men's to who? God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I want to sing another one. Go I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. But it is the power of God Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. unto salvation. Yes, yes. Is that, ain't that right? Amen, amen. Amen, amen, God. amen. We come this far by faith. Yes, it on the Lord. Y'all remember that song? Yes. Trusting in his holy word. He never failed me yet. I say, oh, 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 can't turn around. We come this far by faith. Yeah. 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 How many love God? I love him. I love him. I love him. I love him. Do you really love God? I love God. Well, you know, a lot of people like to say it with their lips, but their heart is far from it. But I really love yes, God. Yes, and yes. you know how you prove you love God? By keeping his, I'm talking about seeking it. Yes. By keeping his commandments. Amen. Amen. Oh, y'all better come on now. You can't sin and say you love God. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, Amen. 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 The righteous Amen. God. That's right. Amen. Amen. He's still saving from sin. Yes, he He's still delivering. Yes, he Amen. He's still setting free. He's still healing. He's still keeping the minds of those that want to be kept. Yes, yes. Am yes. I right about it? I love him. Oh, glory to God. I love him because he first loved me. For he sacrificed himself, my salvation on Calvary. I'll leave that with a law right there. But I still love him. But I still love him. Don't you love him? Because he first loved me. Go ahead. And he, he purchased my salvation on Calvary. On Calvary. Thank you much. <laughs> I love him. I love him. I love him. I love him. Yeah, 
Amen. Amen. Real. Real. Jesus is real to me. Oh, yes. He gave me the victory. So many people doubt him. But I can't live without him. And that is why I love him so. He's so real. In the Lord, he's real. Real. Jesus is real to me. Oh. Amen. For God so loved the world yes. that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. Amen. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Amen. We thank God. As I was saying earlier, one more time, that God allow us to come into the house of God. Amen. To worship him in spirit and in truth. And you know what? God is seeking true worshipers. Amen. Because there are people that are trying to worship God, but they ain't living a dime worth of nothing. All right. Come on. And they not, when they worship, they're not worshiping God in spirit and in truth. Right, right. And, you know, and God knows them that are here. Yes, he does. You know, yes, you can say all day long, I belong to God, but if you ain't living right, you don't belong to God. Right. Amen. Amen. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. I ain't going to let nobody come and knock on my door and say, I'm your son, and right. I ain't bring you here. See? Oh, come on now. You ain't my son. You know, when you God's child, you're going to do whatever God say. Whatsoever right. God right. say, you're going to keep those commandments. Amen. Amen. You're going to run this race with patience. Yes, yes, yes. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. 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 You ain't going to backslide on Sunday, on, 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 on Monday. Amen. And then go to church on, on Sunday. Come on, come Amen. On. And think God going to accept you as his, oh, as right, his child. Right. Come, come on, on now. Come on. Amen. If you still lying and homunging and chasing the women and all that sort of that. stuff, oh y'all better that. come on with me now. Say that. Oh, and you say you good, you know, hey, I'm, I'm a church good God. That's all you are. You're a church person. All right, amen. But you're not holy. That's right. Say it that. Say it. Then the Bible said, be holy for I the Lord God yeah, is holy. You gotta yeah. be holy. You gotta be sanctified. Yeah, Set yeah. apart from sin. Yeah, That's hallelujah. what you got to be. Amen. Amen. You can't serve two masters. You either got to hate one or you going to have to love the other. So who you going to hang on to? Oh, come on now. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Amen. Amen. But they have a form of godliness. Yes. That's what the Bible said. Amen. They have a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Yes, yes. Amen. Can't nobody walk like that. Can't, hmm. nobody, can't nobody live holy. Well, I Let's beg your part. Amen. I'm living holy every day. Every day. I don't have to say I'm sorry every day. Every day. Amen. Amen. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Amen. Come every on day now. you got to say my bag. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. No. No, no forgive no. me. Come on now. Come on. When you going to be real with God? Amen. When you going to be sincere about God? Yes, when yes. you going to live for God like you're supposed to live? Amen. 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 Glory to God. I got to go the way Amen. I hear it. That's all right. Amen. Amen. God is looking for God looking for souls. Yes. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. He, he haven't given up on you. No, he hasn't. Facebook, he ain't given up on you. He's still giving you a chance. His arms are still stretched <laughs> out wide. All right. Say, come unto me, all you that are labor yes. and heavy laden, yes. and I will give you rest. Yes. Rest yes. from what? Amen. Rest from your, come on now, yes. from your sin. Yes, yes, amen. Amen. But you got to be willing. Lord, I need to be saved. Yes, amen. You got to realize that you're not saved. Amen. The reason why I told you some people realize they are right with God because they went to church. Amen. <laughs> church don't save you. No, it don't. That's, this is just a building. Right. Oh, y'all better come on now. This is the place where we come to worship. Amen. Amen. But this building right here has got to be, amen. It's got to be holy. 
This temple, the temple of God, it's got to be holy. It ain't talking about the building. It's talking about your temple. You got to be holy. You got to be sanctified. Am I right? Can't be chasing the women now and you call yourself a, oh, come on now. All right, now, chasing the women, just chasing down the women, whatnot, and then go to church and say, thank you, Jesus. What you saying, thank you, Jesus, for the woman? Uh oh. Are you saying thank you, Jesus, because you saved? You thank God for saving you? Are you still telling God thank you for the woman? Thank you for the man. Oh, I got to tell it like it is. Right here from the house side, but I'm going to tell it. See, see, you should know the truth, and the truth shall what? Make you free. But that's if you want to be free. Some people don't want to be free, they, they want to do their thing. Do you hear what I'm saying? People want to do their thing. Out there, they want to do their thing. And they telling me to leave, leave me alone. No, I ain't going to leave you alone because God want to save you. God want to wash you. God want to get my secret into your shutdown. God want to make you clean. God, come on now. God want you to go to heaven and live with him. Am I right about it? Hallelujah to God. Don't you want to go to that land where I'm bound? Right now, I'm bound for heaven. How you know you bound for heaven? Because I'm living right. I'm living right every day. Come on now, I ain't in and out of God. Y'all better come on with me. People in and out and in and out doing the hot chop. In and out. Huh? In and out. When you gonna stand still? Stand still. Uh -huh. I don't care if you don't never like me. I'm gonna tell it just like it is. You gonna be holy or you not gonna be holy. Amen. I tell this every time I get a chance. God got me, got me going that way. I gotta go that way. Huh? This thing, you gotta be real. Real. How many of you know the real? Pinch yourself. You real, right? Amen. 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 So that's where God wants you to be. Yep. Real. Amen. Amen. Huh? Come on. Come on. Now you gotta sometimes be you gotta sometimes sit down and think, am I am I in God like I supposed to be? Come on now. Come on now. Are you really in God like you supposed to be? Come on. Come on now, think about it. Come well, on. if you ask a question like that. And if you doubt, no, you ain't in God like you're supposed to be. Well, I did do something yesterday, and uh, it wasn't good. Huh? Now, God allows you to repent. Because sometimes we do make mistakes. Mistakes. Some people intentionally do things, and they call that a mistake. Laying down with another man's wife is not a mistake. See, you've been tempted, and you had a chance to rebuke it. And the next thing I know, Pastor, I was in the in the hotel. <laughs> next thing I know, but you shouldn't be repenting all the time. Oh, y'all better come. It gets quiet. It, you get it gets quiet when people, you know, you start stepping on people's toes. Amen. But hey, God always told us to preach the word. Cry loud and spare not. See, we can't spare you all for the for your faces, how you look, what you think. God don't care about what you think if you're thinking contrary to what God's word said. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall what? Make you free. It will set you free if you, amen, take it in, and apply it in your heart and in your mind and in your spirit. It'll separate you. I had a message yesterday about drawback. Yes. It's the reason why some people they say today because they're drawing back. Yes. <laughs> drawing back. Yes. Yes. Do you hear what I'm saying? Uh -huh. <laughs> God tried to bring you forward and you drawing back. God wants you to be saved and you drawing back from God. Don't you know you drawing back from God? I'm talking about sinners. God is calling you. Yes. But you, you know God is calling you. Come on now. But you, you're drawing back from God. 
Don't you know that's the one that's going to be able to, that's the one that breathed the breath of life in your body? And you drawing back from your creator that made you, amen, because you still want to hold on to the world? Come on now. Amen. They ain't going to do nothing but send you to the lake of fire. Amen. To hell. Do y'all know what hell is? Come on now. It's a place of torment. Yes, yes, where sinners go, just in case you didn't know out there. Because some of y'all were raised in holiness. And you was following God. You was running for God. But after a while, the world got good to you. You start looking at it. And you start seeing the glamour of the people amen, that's having fun in the world. Yeah, they have fun out there in the world. I'm not going to tell you that people don't have fun. When we was out there, we had fun in the world. Am I right about it? We had a good time when we was out there. Shaking our behind. We was having a good time. Woo! Doing our thing. Am I right about it? But oh, what a change in my life. Do you hear what I'm saying? But I'm having a good time right now serving God. Running for Jesus. I've been running for Jesus a long time. And I'm not tired yet. See, you got to keep on running. Somebody done got tired. Now they're huffing and puffing. Spiritually, what's right. Come on. Spiritually. Yes. Huffing and puffing. Come on. Why I got to do all this? Why I got to live? It don't take all that. I don't care what that preacher said. It don't take all that. It takes all this and more. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. He that hunger and thirsts after righteousness shall be filled. Filled with God's spirit. Do you really want God? Do you really want God the way he wants you to want him? Examine yourself. Amen. Some people need to examine themselves yeah. and see how they are in God. Amen. Amen. Are, are you sanctified? I'm in church. That don't make you sanctified. Good. Well, I go to church. I go to so and so church, and I go to so and then you sin after you leave the church. Come on now. Huh? Come on. Cursing and, and carrying on. Amen. After you get out of the church and whatnot. Come on now. Come on. That shouldn't even come out of your mouth. Right, right. Amen. 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 But nevertheless. A foundation of God standing sure, standing sure, yeah. having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his. The, how many are, you know your children, don't you? Yeah. You know your mother, you know your father, you know your sisters and brothers, so can't nobody get over on you when they come in your house. Yeah. I can't come in your house and say, hey, I'm your big brother. Amen. First thing you say, where you come from? Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. Say way with God. You can't tell, you can't tell, you, 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 you didn't, you didn't fool yourself right. and say I belong to God, uh -huh. but God knows you don't belong to him. See? You either going to belong to God or you're going to belong to the Amen. devil. Amen. Amen. I still said earlier, you can't serve two masters. Cannot. Cannot. Amen. People study trying. Amen. Come on now. We got to be real when it comes down to serving God. I'm going to say that again. We got to be real when it comes down to serving God. Amen. Don't you know we're supposed to be the light of the world? A city that's sitting on the hill that cannot be hid. Somebody got to know that you say. Somebody got to know that you sanctify. Somebody got to know that you're holy. Somebody got to know that you live in the life. Somebody ought to be able to say that's a sanctified person there. Don't you mess with them. That's a holy brother right there. That's a holy sister. Are they saying that about you? Or are they shaking in him? And he talking about he saved. Mm -hmm. Because they see what you do. Amen. And it's contrary to the word of God. Amen. What we do cannot be contrary to the word. Leave me, God. Leave me. Be contrary to the word of God. But I'm so happy that God saved me. I've been saved over 40 something years. And haven't went back and haven't looked back and haven't drawn back from God. Even though the enemy, amen, will tempt you and he will try you. Because he don't want you to stay saved. He wants you to go to hell with him. He wants you to go to the lake of fire with him. Amen. Amen. You know how I said that, uh, some, what is that, love company? Misery. 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 Love company. He's, he's, he's in misery. Yes, he is. Because he knows he's going to hell. Amen. So he's trying to get everybody he can to go to hell with him. Come on now. Well, when I get a little bit older, then I get say, how you know you're going to live to get a little bit older? Amen. People 
people are dying every day. By Corona's virus and all this other stuff. Amen. Amen. People are dying. Some people are just falling dead. Amen. Amen. Some people go to bed at night and, go, and, and they don't, don't even wake up the next day. Amen. You got something to be thankful for. Yeah. But knowing you don't want God who's keeping you alive. Amen. I said God is keeping you alive. What you going to do about it? I wonder if he's talking about me. I ain't talking about you unless I'm talking about you. Come on now. Don't get mad at the messenger. I'm just a messenger. Am I right about it? I'm just giving to you what God gave to me. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. To them that believe. I believe. In order to be saved, you got to believe that there is a God that can save. But I'm going to tell you, there is a God that's still saving souls from sin. And I'm one of them. You're right. This is a personal thing. Yes, it is. Huh? I can't be saved for you. Your mama can't be saved for you. Your papa can't be saved. Well, my father said that ain't got nothing to do with you. No, no. My uncle to say that ain't got nothing to do with you. Amen. This is an individual thing. Individual. Come unto me, all you that labor the heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. God will give you rest. Yes. God will give you peace from sin. Yes, yes, he will. Amen. I'm telling you what, God, you don't have to keep running in and out of church, in and out of God, in and out, in and out, in and out. You can stay with God. Yes. I'm a living witness. Forty-some years, I'm still saved. Yeah, look, look, look. That's what you say. No, that's what I know. I live the life. People saw my life. Y'all better come on with me now. Do you want to make it? Scripture said, choose you this day who you're going to serve. Just make your choice. I had a message one time that said, don't play with God. Amen. Uh, don't play. It's a terrible thing to play with God. Amen. Am I right about it? Yes, it we ain't supposed to be playing with God. Amen. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. If you're going to play with somebody, go play with your kids. Amen. Come on now. God is not a kid. No, he's not. No, he's not. I'm going to say that again. God is not a kid. No, he's not. Don't play with God. Be real. Amen. Come on now. Yes. The eye of the Lord is over. Come on now. Every place. Every place. Yes. You can't hide from God. Amen. I don't care what you do. I don't care if you do turn the lights out. Amen. I'm going to turn the lights out. God will see it. Light and darkness to God is the same. Do you hear what I'm saying? Somebody ain't going to like me, but you know what? I don't care. Because one thing I found out, amen, I ain't preaching for you. I'm preaching for God. Amen. I got to get a reward from God. Amen. Don't you want your reward from God? Oh, yes. That's why you can't care about what people say. That's right. That's right. Come on now. I don't care if they do call you a holy roller. The old holy roller, you know, he always talking about God. And he always want to talk about and always want to bring us to church. And I, it's for your benefit. Yes. Yes. I, I, I got to say this. It's for your benefit, fool. All right. All right. See? <laughs> it is. Don't be foolish. Amen. Amen. What we preaching is trying to get you to heaven. Yes. But no, they're rejecting it. They're turning it down. See? Get that old man away from us. Get that old righteous man. See? Preach unto us smooth things. Yes. They want to hear sweet things. I, and then one of the sweet song. I love, oh, they'll sing that. Oh, yeah. But I told you, if you really love God, you go keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. right. How many of y'all really keep God's commandments? Don't, don't raise your hand. <laughs> Come on now. Don't raise your hand. Think about it. Do you really keep God? Well, I keep God. When you, if you have to say, I keep God's commandments sometimes, Amen. that ain't good enough. Amen. Stop listening to people that say, I said, you said, and everybody no. said. Everybody ain't saying it. No, no. Amen. 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 
Everybody out there ain't drinking wine. No, no. Everybody out there, oh, y'all better come on drinking beer. Amen. Everybody out there ain't smoking cigarettes. Right. Come on now. Everybody out there is not chasing somebody else's wife. All right. All right. Come and on. your wife is at home. All right. Go ahead. Don't you know God knows how to give you who he wants you to have? Yes, he does. Yes, sir. Huh? Well, how you going to know your wife? Not going to bed with her. Mm -hmm. right. Uh-oh. Knowing your wife doesn't mean you got to go to bed with her. All right. God knows what to do. Yes, he does. He know how to put you together. Yes. Amen. Amen. Me and my wife been together, what, 48 years. Amen. Next year will be 49. Amen. And not one time did we lay down together. Before marriage. Right. Praise God. <laughs> oh my God, how did that happen? <laughs> he got two kids. <laughs> he, he got two kids. He had to do something. Ain't no hocus pocus. <laughs> see, y'all started it, see. <laughs> but I'm saying before we got married. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. You can do it. Let God do it. Because sometimes who, who you end up with is not going to be good for you. I'm not saying you're not going to have any problems, even if God did it. But God will show you how to get along with each other. Come on now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. You can't be jumping around from one woman to another woman. And some people are doing it in the church. Jumping around from Mary to Susan oh. to, uh, yeah. Come on now. you might be jumping around with auntie. All right. Well, it's, it's happening. It's happening. that's a sin. Yes, you ain't supposed to lay, lay with your kin folks. That's right. Oh, no. Did nobody tell you that? Amen. Woo, my my, all right. It's all right. it's all my cousin right. is fine. Oh, that's the devil. Yes, it yes, is. Right. Yes, it is. Amen. Well, I gotta tell it like it is. Well, Amen. <laughs> That's nasty. Yes, it is. Yes. Amen. I got, I got, to, I got to talk, boy. I got to preach. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sit in the book. Sit in the book. Yes, yes. But God knows who to give you. Yes, I don't know why I switched the script to that. Right. But it's needed to be said. Oh, yes. Get out of your cousin's bedroom. All right. Come on now. All Get right. out of that bed. Yes. See, that's why they don't, that's why they don't like me. <laughs> Come on now. Sometimes people say, oh, there he is. And they turn to another page. But that's all right. Amen. It's still out there. Amen. Right. Amen. And then you know because you heard it, God's going to bring it back to your remembrance. That's right. That's right. He's going to bring, he's going to make sure you don't forget. Amen. Man, that preacher, wow, that's still in my head. Man, man that, you know why? Because God is drawing you. He wanted you to hear that. Amen. Leave your cousin. That's incest. Amen. Amen. Come on. Leave your cousins alone. I don't know how I got there, man. That's nasty. Yes, sir. Ain't no good in that. Amen. Oh, come on now. I got to tell it just like it is. Amen. Are you holy or are you not holy? Come on. And I still say, you, you know, you got a chance right now while the breath is still running warm in your body to run to God and say, Lord, all that preaching is being that's that what he's saying today. Amen. Is that for me? Yes, it's for you. Amen. It's for you if you're doing what I say that God don't want you to do. Right. And you're doing it. Amen. God is talking to you. You see, I like it when God warns us. Yes, yes, yes. he does that. Amen, he does that. Mm -mm. Come on. God don't just hit you upside your head and then warn you first. Right. I never whip my child and didn't warn them what they shouldn't be doing first. Right. Right. That would be unfair. Yes. Amen. Am I right about it? Yes. Yes. All of you all that are parents, you would never whoop your child and you didn't tell him why or not to do something. Come on. Say, now, you warned him. You said, now, if you do that, I told you not to do that now. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you now. I don't want you to stay outside so-and-so to such and such a time. I want you to come in. Right. Now, if you do that, you ain't going back out. Amen. Okay. You warned him, right? Amen. 
Then they go over the time. I know sometimes, you know, especially children, when they, when they get outside and play and whatnot, they forget what the time is. <laughs> but I know somebody sometimes will tell you, we well, take your watch with you mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can keep, keep time. Huh? Amen. See, God is watching. Yes, he is. Huh? God is watching us. Yes. So, like I said, he knows whether you're saved or you're not saved. Amen. But when you warn them and they, and they disobey, then you have the right to spank them. Yes. Yes. Am I right about it? Yes. There ain't no way in the world they can say, that ain't fair. It's not fair when I told you before. If you stand before the judgment seat of God and he said, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, you can't say that's not, that, that, that wasn't fair. That wasn't fair. I didn't have time. How much time? The Bible already said, now is the time. Now is the time. What are you waiting on? Amen, amen. It wasn't time. See, that's what you get for waiting. But God's hands and arms are stretched out wide. Yes. Said, come unto me. Come to me. Yes. Come to me. He's still reaching out. Yes, yes, but we're living in a day and time that people don't even want to hear the word of God. They change the word of God. Yes. Amen. Today, pleasure. Yes. You know, it, don't, it takes some things out. Some of them take some of the scriptures out. Yes, I know a Bible. That we, we seen a Bible. A brother told, the brother told me, I believe, over here that they took some chapters out of some of the Bible. You know why? Because the devil don't want them to hear that. That's right. That's right. It ain't in there anymore. Just because it ain't in their book don't mean it's not in there. It's in God's book. This is a straight and narrow way. Oh, yeah, it's going to be hard sometimes. You, yeah, the, the flesh going to feel it. Yeah, you're going to feel like, oh, man. I, I, hey, but you still got to hold on to God. Amen. I don't care how hard it is. Amen. Amen. We still got to keep on pressing Amen. towards the mark of the high calling yes, yes. in Christ Jesus. Do you, want, do you really want to go to heaven? Come on, come on. Or, or should I ask this question? Do you really want to go to hell? See. I've heard some people say foolishly, yeah, mm -hmm. I want to go to hell. Right. And they're doing it foolishly. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know really what they're saying. They don't. Do you really know what you're saying? Hell is not a play piece, no. a play place, a play place. Of, hell is not a figment of my imagination. No. I'm going to say that again. Come on. Hell is not a figment of our imagination. Amen. Come on. Just because we haven't seen it doesn't mean it's not there. Not there. I believe in God, Amen. and I believe in what God says. Amen. Because everything that he has said to Bishop Willis has come to pass. He, he said in his word that he will save me. I'm saved. It came to pass. When he said in his word that he was going to keep me, I, amen, if, if you want to be cup, he amen. It came to pass. I'm still being cup yes, by the power of God. Yes, amen, amen. Amen. Glory to God. The I devil can't you. keep you. Okay. He's trying to pull you away from God. Yes. He don't want you to serve him. See? That's why he got kicked out of the heavens. Yes, yes. And a third of the angels, look, look how much of of the fools that they were. Amen. Up there in heaven with God. Had it made. But wanted to take over. See? The throne of God. Come on now. Got him some more fools. Amen. The third of the angels. I'm telling you what the Bible says. You better read. Yes. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Now they're in a place waiting to go to hell. Amen. Do you want to be like that? Do you, do you want to say, God, woe is me, woe is me? Sitting in torment because you didn't listen to the preacher, because you wanted to do what you wanted to do. You wanted to do it how you wanted to do. And I didn't think it took all that. See, that's the problem. You was thinking. 
You don't have to think until, you know, uh, when you're looking at what the scripture says. Right, right. Just believe. Amen. Come on now. Because see, the devil will keep you from believing. Yes. Amen. And then you listen say, to some of these old no good preachers, I sin, you sin, and everybody sin. If he sin, you better get out of his That's church. Right. You don't want to be under that pastor that say, I sin. No, you don't. Come on. That ain't going to help you. Amen. Amen. The time he says, I sin, I'm gone. Because I'm looking for somebody that don't sin. Amen. Amen. When we were sinners, God saved us. Christ died for us that we might have life. But it's up to us to make the decision. You know what? The pastor can't make a decision for you. No, no, no. Child, don't worry about it. You know, people talk about hell, but you're good. Sending folks to hell. Amen. I'm talking about now. Amen. They holding back the truth in unrighteousness. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. They holding back the truth in unrighteousness. They don't, them themselves don't want to go to, come on now. I want to go to heaven, so they want you to go with them. Right. And some of them right. think they're going to heaven because they don't believe. See? A lot of churches didn't change. Oh, yeah. I mean, some real sanctified churches didn't change. Yeah. They didn't change the script. Now they're letting everything go in the church. Come on you know on. why? Because they're trying to keep members. Right, right. They're trying to get members. Yes. I'm going to tell you that what the Bible said, where there's two or three gathered together in my name, he'll be in the midst. Amen. And so as long as he's in the midst of us, amen, we can still glorify God and we can still magnify God and we can still lift up the name of Jesus and we can still be holy. I'm going to serve him. I got to serve him. Do you hear what I'm saying? Because God been too good to me. He been so good to me. So why would I turn my back on God? It's foolish. Yes, it is. Yes. Come on. Yes, it is. Amen. Come Been on. with God all these years, yes. and now you're going to turn your back on God. God? That's foolish. Yes, it is. Amen. 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 But God, I need. Trick of the devil. Come on. You heard of the song say, I need oh, yeah. the oh, I need the Every hour I need thee, oh bless me now, my Savior, I Some of y'all need to say, I need you, Lord. 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 I need He's there. God is there. Amen. Everything that you need from God that is right, He's there. He's there to help you. He's there to keep you. He's there to lift you up. You ain't by yourself. You got God on your side. Am I right about it? We got a God on our side. He'll never leave us, neither will he forsake us. Amen. We can look to the rock. Oh, come on now. Come on. Come get my secret in your shop. Holy. Somebody say, hold it! Hold it! <laughs> it's holiness is what he 
want. I said his holiness is what he want. So give him what he want. You get him a second into your shot. Holy! He wants you to be holy. He wants you to go to heaven. Give him what he want. Give him what he want. Give him what he want. Chasing the girl, 
But now I've been changed. I've been changed. And God can change you. Am I right about it? So, Lord, I want to be changed. I want to be different. I want to walk for you. He can do it. He can do it. Give God another bitch your hands. You heard my cry, and you pity every song. Amen, amen, amen. Isn't God good? What is man that God is so mindful? God is so mindful of man, not just us, but man, period. He's so mindful to the point that he sent his son. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Never did get to that. I just went the way God wanted me to go. The decision is yours. Do you hear what I'm saying? Because some people go to church just to shout and dance. After they get through shout and dancing, they please, and they go right back out there and do their wicked sins. Don't you know sin is wicked? Yes, it is. Can I say that again? Amen. amen. Sin is wickedness. Yes, it is. And it stinks in the nostrils of who? Yes, God. It stinks in his nostrils. Amen, amen. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes. We got to be pleasant. Yes. Y'all be. Amen. What goes up before God has got to be pleasant. Sweet smelling Savior. Yes, Lord. Am I right about it? Amen. Are you going to hold on to him? Oh, yes. I got to hold on to him. Oh, yes. Amen. You don't want to go, I got to go. Amen. Somebody say, I got to go. I got to go. If you don't want to go. I got to stay. If you don't want to stay. I got to keep running. If you don't want to keep running. Amen. It's not about when my friend, he, my friend, he stopped. It ain't about him. Come on now, you, just because he want to go to hell, that means you got to go to hell with him? Oh, no. no, brother, I'm sorry that you, I'll be praying for you, but hey, I'm still going to church. Amen. I'm still going to live right. Amen. I'm still going to lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh. This is an individual thing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This God is not a buddy-buddy thing. Come on. Amen. I had, I had that, 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 that kind of thing, buddy-buddy. Me and my friends, as long as we both were say, you know, saying, saying we saved, yeah. right. but we weren't really saved. Right. But we, we wanted to be saved, but huh. we wasn't doing it, and we were raised in a hole in the church. Amen. But when my friend got saved, you know, when the preacher started to get to preaching, mm. and the bishop started preaching about hellfire, yeah. and then we, me and my friend, when we get scared and nervous about going to hell, you know, we look at each other and say, you want to go get saved? <laughs> Why you got to ask him? Right. That's your choice. Right. Amen. Amen. But I was young. Amen. You know, I didn't want to go unless he gonna go. Uh -huh. And then the next thing we know, we both said, You wanna go? Yeah. You wanna go back go up there and get saved? Yeah. Okay. See. That's not real. Amen. No, it's not. Huh? Amen. And we went up there and let them lay hands on us mm -hmm. and pray for us. And we and they told us what to do, repent. You know, turn it over to God, and you save. See. We were saved for about a week or two. Mm. Three weeks or so. Maybe a month. But soon as we got together, me and my friend got together, I'm going to tell you, I'm telling you, I'm giving you my testimony. Come on, it's all right. Huh? Amen. I was friendship sanctified. <laughs> Come on. Did y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. Friendship sanctified. Amen. Come on. Come on. That's what it was back then. See? You saved, I'm saved right. too. Right. Friendship. No, you got to be saved on your own. Because right. if your friend walk off on you, and if your husband and your wife walk out on you, you got to still stay saved. Hello? Amen. You can't be wife sanctified. That's right. Amen. Okay. See? Come on. Right. 
Come on now. Amen. Amen. You can't be that way. That's right. Amen. <laughs> you got to be your own. Yes. Your own person. Yes. Yes. If your husband don't want to live holy, you can live holy. That's right. That's right. You ain't got to go to hell because she going to hell. And you can still love your wife. Well, you know what? God ain't going to push you away from your wife and y'all marry. Mm -hmm. If you decide to get saved, y'all can still stay together. That's right. That's right. But some nasty stuff that you might have been doing when you all were married, you can't do that no more. Right. You heard me say nasty stuff. Come on. Oh, it gets quiet. Oh, my God. Did he say, yeah, I said it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Old things are passed away. And behold, all things become new. You are a new creature now. Amen. You are a new individual now. Amen. I didn't get saved because the evangelist got saved. Right. Amen. Come on now. When I met her, she was already saved. Come on. Sanctified. Amen. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Already. Amen. See? And God brought us together. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. We did. I didn't look at her when she came in the door. And then, uh, Thank you, Jesus. When we first met each other was at school. And somebody uh, introduced her, her to me. And she said, this is Beverly. And she said, this is my friend, Thomas. And I just looked at her and said, hey, how you doing? She said, fine. And I just went on about my business. She didn't know me. And I didn't know her. We were just introduced. But it wasn't until later on. See how God will do. God knows how to bring people to you. She was going to another church, and I was at Old Landmark Church. No, she was at another church. She could tell you about it. She was saved, too, sanctified, speaking in tongues at another church. But for some, one day, Bishop came over there to, her, to the church, and he preached. And she liked the way, am I saying this right? She liked the way he preached. And she liked the anointing on him. She said, oh, my goodness, I got to go there. Plus, her mother ended up mm -hmm. going there. And she said, I got to go there. I got to check him out. And it was like he was on fire for God. Mm -hmm. And she just came over there with her friend just to investigate, <laughs> see how things were. She didn't, she didn't, she, she, it, wasn't nothing, it wasn't about me because right. she really didn't know me. Right. And when I was getting ready to go upstairs in the church and I saw her coming up the stairs and we saw, I said, oh, hey, how you doing? You know, and so she just went on upstairs, mind her own business. Next thing I know, she joined the church because she loved that church. She didn't join the church because she saw me. No. Right. I wasn't even in mine. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people join the church because, mm -hmm. you know, somebody there is fine. Come on now. I've had somebody to say, I had some of the guys that I used to be with and hang with, they used to tell me, can I go to church with you? Because I know y'all got some fine girls. I said, you ain't even messing with my sisters. All right. Amen. I stood up for my sisters. I said, no, they don't want you. That's right. Amen. And you want to mess up my, no, no, you ain't coming over there. You ain't coming over there messing with my sisters. Amen. And I was real too. Amen. Yeah, I was taking up for my, I want them to stay safe. Right. Not that they couldn't do it themselves, but I was standing up for No, if you want to come to church, you want to come to church because you want to hear the word. Right. And you want God to change you and ch save you. Not because you want a wife. Right. Some people go to church because they want a wife. Right. Right. Oh, that's tight, ain't it? Amen. It's still right. Amen. Yeah. And that's what they told me. I want a sanctified sister. Yes. But she don't want you. Right. Hey, come on. Why? So you can mess her up? Right. Mistreat her? Some women, I want me a preacher. Why? <laughs> and you ain't saying, I want that. I want, oh, that preacher. Yes, lusting, you Amen. little lustful that's devil, you. That's 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 a, lusting. You really want to be saved. I'm talking about if you really want to be saved, amen, you ain't going to try to get somebody else to, y'all better come on now. Unless you really want to be saved, you can go to somebody that you know that's saved and sanctified and holy and, go to, and show you how to get to yeah. come to God. Amen. 
It's not just because you want you want them. Right. Right. Come on. Making them think you interested. All right. I'm hitting on somebody's toes. Because some people be doing that. They may try to make you think they oh, you know what? I love God too. And I want to be like you. No, they want to mess up you. Come on. Come on now. Amen. Yeah, wolves. And I've seen it where men, no good men, come into church and take the women out of there. Right, right. It was a setup. Yes, it was. Amen. I'm going to say it again. It, is, it was a setup. Right. Sometimes when these men start getting close to you and, and giving you stuff, uh -huh. you, don't take it. Because it's a setup. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I got more, baby. Amen. But you ain't got Christ. Amen. Oh, y'all better come on. <laughs> you can't give me Christ. You can't give me God. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Is that all right? Yes, it is. Oh, yes. yes, it is. Amen. You got to watch people. Yes. Trying to get close to you. I'm saved just like you are. Mm -hmm. no, you're no, you're not. No, you're not. Amen. And then sometimes, a lot of times, you need to go to God. Yes. Even if it's a saved person. Yes. you. They could be saved and sanctified in the church. But you need to go to God. Amen. Amen. Because he still might not be for you. Right. And it's not because he ain't saved. Right. Amen. What God got for you is for you. How did I go there? It's all right. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. <laughs> what God got for you is for you. And it's amazing that when they, when they get together and, and they mess up and they, and they start getting into all these arguments and things look like they can't get along, I know I shouldn't have married him. I know if you, if, if you knew that, what you, right. what you marry him for? Amen. All right. Amen. Say that again. Lust. Lust. Amen. The desire. Yes. Look at this. Man, he built. Mm -hmm. so some men coming there built, boys. Some of them are just... You know, but some of them, some of them are built. They like that built. You know, man, he's built. See, you ain't saying nothing about what is he saved. First priority is should be. Are you saved? And some a lot of times you need to know a person before you get close to a person. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. And, that stopped you from saying, if I had known this, I wouldn't have never. It's, sometimes it's too late. Right. Mm -hmm. Too late. But you, you do know that when you get ready to get married, they said, what is it about he, that is joined together? Let no man put us under. No put us under. Mm -hmm. Now, people will try to come and split your marriage. But if God puts you together, can't nobody split you unless you let them. And that doesn't mean that if you, buy, if you marry somebody that was really sanctified, that one of them ain't going to backslide. They still got to do what you got to do. Is seek God. Stay in your word. Do you hear what I'm saying? Obey God. Keep on pressing toward the mark of the house. And then, like with me and evangelists, that we encourage one another. Amen. When I'm going through hardships, you know, she encourages me. When she's going through hardships, amen, I encourage her. Amen. amen. We can make it, baby. We can make it. We're going to make it. And we both be saying, yes, yes, yes. Amen. We encourage it because we want, both of us want each other to go to heaven. Amen. Yes. Amen. Not. You hearing, yeah, see, I know you should have been in that church. You ought to get out of that church and be with me. Baby, I'll be with you when it's time to be with you. I'll give you your time. But I, it, when it's time to go to church, I'm getting out of here and going to church because I'm trying to keep my soul from sinning. Oh, we, we, we preach all things. We pre <laughs> you want to be married? Why? What you mean, why? Yeah. Have you ever, why you want to be married? Come on now. 
Is it because you really love that person? Or is it because she looks good? And it might be both of those. Mm -hmm. Is it because she's fine? That's all right. Amen. But is she saved? I'm talking about a saved person now. Come on now. When somebody come up to you and say, boy, I'm going to marry you, ask them why. It's good to know. Yeah. Amen. I want to know. We Amen. need to know. Huh? We had a, uh, our bishop used to always allow us to come to him about somebody that we had intentions for. So because he was a wisdom man of wisdom. Yes, he and he knew, and God would let him know what was good for you and what was not. Because God sometimes would reveal things to him. Mm -hmm. And sometimes he would go and tap that person on the, on the say, you know what? He's not for you. Mm -hmm. And there were times they went on and rebelled and married him anyway, and he tried to tell him in the first place, that's not for you. God said, that's not for you. But no, because they were so much in love with that person. And why? He's good to me. Somebody could be good to you, but not good for you. Amen. Amen. You better say that. You better say that. Can I say that again? Amen. Sometimes somebody could be good to you, but not good for you. Amen. You ever ate a sandwich that looked good to you? Yeah. And when you ate ate it, <laughs> it wasn't good for you, and it messed up your stomach. Come on, man. Am I right about it? Amen. Ooh, that wasn't good for me. Ooh. But what was outside of it, you know, looking through the, it looked good, though. Yeah. Everything that looks good don't mean it's good. I'm covering all kinds of areas today for some reason. That brother looked good, and Amen. what's under that? Right, right, right. <laughs> Amen. God was under that. Amen. <laughs> is he? A, is he? Look, is he as good as he look? Look. Amen. Is she as good as she look? See? Come on. We teach you everything. Come on. Go ahead. Because there are some people that have been bamboozled, yeah. run them up because they were looking at an outside appearance. Right. But God looketh on the heart. Amen. He knows what's within the heart. Yes, he does. In the hearts of men, in the hearts of women. Amen. And then, like I said, sometimes people don't really, you, sometimes they'll get angry because they tell, you tell them, no, that's not yours. See, you just, you just jealous because you ain't married. <laughs> Some old kind of stupid stuff, they, you know, well, you just jealous because, you know, you ain't got a husband. So you want one, so no, it ain't about that. If somebody trying, especially God, sometimes will send somebody to you and say, "That's not, that's yeah, not God." Yes, he will warn you. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. But they won't accept it. Right. Deliver yourself. Yes. Did y'all enjoy? Yes, we did. Woo! I felt the spirit of God up in this right. place. Hey. Right. Amen. I don't know. Let me get on that organ again. <laughs> yeah. Thank God for the Raglan sister. Yes. Yes. Missionary Raglan. Yes. And Elder Raglan. Yes. Yes. Friends from way back. Way back. Way back. Yes. yes, yes. And he come to visit us. I'm going to do this right quick. Amen. Could you come give us a few words? Yes. Amen. Wait, before we do that, I want to do this. I want to recognize. Forgive me. Amen. But I want to recognize 
the let me see let me put my glasses off the name of the church is Iglesia did I say that right yeah. Woo! <laughs> Emmanuel that was the name of the church we got some visitors here today yeah. from Iglesia how can two walk together except they agree? We were introduced to the brother there. Amen. Amen. Through nation. Yeah. And he came here to visit with us. Amen. And we ended up going to their church. Wonderful. Nation just asked me to, well, do y'all want to go? I'm going to Iglesia, uh, Iglesia Emmanuel. Amen. Won't you come and go with me? Huh? Iglesia Emmanuel Church. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So we ended up went we went and we had a good time. Yeah. That church was Amen. on fire. Amen. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes. Amen. And I went back again and, and, I, and I came back. I think I came twice. Yeah. Yeah. And they let me preach and whatnot and, and that 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 bit that pastor boy. Yeah. <laughs> he just tell it like it is. Yes, Amen. 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 But they came to visit us today. They, and I thank God for them. Amen. Now let, let me see if I can say this right. Salomon. Solomon. Solomon. Hey, Solomon. <laughs> That's square. That's, did I say that right? All right. I don't want to be messing up your name. <laughs> And uh, let's see. Yanelli? Did I say that right? Okay, Vesquez. Oh, I'm doing good. Amen. And Laura? Yeah. Navarro. Oh, oh, give him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said it right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean no what me no talk day. <laughs> yeah, now that's Mexican there, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, I believe in we can laugh sometime. Amen. I believe in fellowshipping. Amen. Amen. I you know, I'm not gonna fellowship with some of these churches that I know ain't living right. Right, right. Come on now. You gotta be you gotta be careful who you take into a church. You gotta make sure the church is real. Amen. We might not always understand what the other will understand, right. but as long as you live in the life, yes, come on. that's what's good. All right, my long time friend, amen, amen, amen. Elder Ragley. Amen. Now I got a question. What do you say after all of that? After all that work, you know what? I, I, I got to thank uh, Missionary Willis for passing that number down to me. God is an on-time God, and he gives you a word exactly when you need it. Yeah, it doesn't matter what kind of title you hold, what kind of position you hold. We all in this together, and like the school system says, leaving no, they say, they say it like this, leaving no children behind. Look, we all in this together. We got to go to heaven together. Yeah. Amen. So I thank you for the, giving me that conference number on yesterday. And before I get too excited and fired up and like my wife say, lit up. I really appreciate listening to that broadcast. It was exactly what I needed. And I wrote down some things. Uh, missionary she, uh, missionary uh, Willis, you were up before your husband. And she spoke about forgiveness. Just a little snippet. Uh, we see the world. We see the world. The, the world forgives on its own terms. But the church is different. You, you know what God give me? If we can speak to the church more about their identity. Just like those that have parents. Your father... The father assured the son, you know, that you my son. You're supposed to be masculine. You're my son. I want to prepare you 
to be an adult. So you, I got to teach you how what it means to work, right. work, work ethic. Uh, so you know, the father may take him on top of the roof, uh, under the hood, <laughs> under the house, um, to get you prepared. Amen. How much more the saints of God? Amen. I, I got to say this. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. It, it, it's, it's just not outside, y'all. It, it's right among holding unforgiveness. Let me say it like that. So I enjoyed that. Because when we make the, somebody said, oh, God. A few people I heard said forgiveness is a process. I said, oh. Forgiveness is a choice. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little too. It's a choice that, that we have to make. And guess what? As long, let's talk to the saints now. As long as we stay saved, there's going to be opportunities that we have to make the choice to forgive. And not only that, we have to make the choice to receive forgiveness. Because some people have a problem doing both. Oh, yeah. Amen. So I so enjoyed Missionary Willis on forget. I heard the whole message. And we get like that, y'all. Y'all I gotta be transparent. We we get to the point where where, where, where Peter asked Jesus, right? Right. He must have was going through something. That maybe he was keeping record or tally. <laughs> But Jesus had to set the record straight. Right, right. He gave him an example. He said, how many times should we forgive? Uh, seven times? Jesus said, no, 70 times. Seven. You know what that means? Unlimited. Unlimited. Yes. And Mama Willis said, just because. Do it anyway. Yes. Because it's just our nature. I'm just speaking about forgiveness. It, it, because our identity, now now God gave me this revelation too a few weeks ago. We, we, we're not carrying a fake ID. That's right. Come on now, I like that. Amen. The devil have deceived the world and, give, and have given, God gave me this just a, a false identity. Yes. And they're carrying that. Right. That, that. That's what the devil wants to do. With us. God told us who we are in Christ. I'm talking about the saints now. Uh, let, let me raise somebody's head up and, and sharpen you and encourage you. We are the, the kingdom kids, kingdom citizens. We are ambassadors of Christ. We represent Christ as his children. We don't misrepresent. We are warriors. We are winners. We are the head and not the tail. Lenders and not borrowers. We are more than conquerors. Not in and of ourselves, but through Christ. If we can understand who's backing us up, yes. then we will understand what we have, yes. our identity. Yes. Who is with us? Yes. The family of Christ, Amen. the Trinity, and more, the angels. Amen. Who is not only with us, but who is in us. Yes. Yes. Look at the backup, y'all. Yes. We got the God family. Yes, Plus, we got a cloud of witnesses. Amen. Uh, missionary Sharon, I'm going so far, but I got to go where the Lord wants me to go. Because we're supposed to build up the saints. Yes, yes. We don't tear down the saints. Yes, yes. Iron sharpened iron. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. We are to strengthen one another. Because just because we're saved, we're not made out of metal That's right. and iron. We feel, we smell, we got our five senses, we hurt. Right. But I need Missionary Shannon to read, read uh, Hebrews 12, because that's coming to mind. Start at that first verse, and we just zip down as the Lord leads. But as she gets this, I must backtrack and say, I give honor. Because that's what it's all about. Amen. I give honor right now. To the God here, the Father. Yes, yes. And I got to put emphasis yes. on this. Yes. I don't serve any little G's, y'all. And I'm not, I'm not ashamed. Amen. 
I give honor to Jehovah God, our creator, the master Amen. of the universe. Hallelujah. Not Buddha, Come on. not Hare Krishna, no. not Muhammad, no. not even the Pope. No. My former pastor says there's no peace in the priest. There's no hope in the Pope. There's no heaven for the cigar second reverend. I had to revise that one. <laughs> but we serve a king of kings Amen. and lord of lords Amen. and God of gods. Amen. We don't serve an idol that's, right. that's made with man's hands. No, no, no. Acts speaks about that. Amen. As if God need anything, but this God that gives us what we need, our daily bread, our strength. We are privileged saints of God. We are blessed yes, we are. to serve a real living creator. Cre creator. Yes. And we're just a mere creature. Amen. For without Amen. him, we could do nothing. Amen. But with him, we can do all things all things. through Christ strengthened us. Amen. Greater is he that is in us, y'all. Look what we have as a benefit. Than he that is in the world. If God be for us. Uh, we could, we could, that's a blank check right there. If God be for us. He's for us in everything that we go through. The good, the bad, the sad, and the ugly. In our trials, tribulations, and temptations. God is with us. How do I know that? Because he was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace. He was with Daniel in the lion's den. This is simple for everybody, even little children, to understand. And to bring it up to our times, living epistles, beloved, he's with us in our spiritual fiery furnace. He's with us when we are in our spiritual lion's den. Sometimes we feel like let me say it like this, symbolically, spiritually. The, the, the mouth of the lion is getting ready to chop our head off. Right. Right. The Bible speaks that the devil is a roaring lion. Yes. He's as a roaring lion, let me say that. Right. Seeking whom he may devour. But did you know that, that Jesus, he's a greater lion? Yes, he he's a lion <laughs> of the tribe of Judah. Amen. My Amen. God. I mean, we serve somebody greater. We have the greater even in us. Amen. Amen. Secondly, I give honor to Jesus Christ. Amen. That's enough to shout for right there. Amen. 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 Because if it had not been for the Lord. Amen. Our risen Savior. Yes. The only Messiah. I don't care what O is saying on her talk show. Y'all get it? O is saying on her talk show. There's more than one way to heaven. There's more than one way to, to, to God. There's more than one way to uh, 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 salvation. The devil is a liar. I know what I gave you, Missionary Sharon, but I just shifted. Uh, Elder Tony, Acts 4 and 12. He know it by heart. There's no other name under heaven. Given among men, whereby we must be saved. I love to brag on Jesus because Jesus said himself, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to my daddy, my father, which we call Abba Father, except they come by me. Can we give the Lord a hand praise for the word? And you see sometimes, all these praise breaks on, on, on social media. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 But I want to know what you're shouting about. Yeah. But the greatest thing that we should be celebrating, shouting, and dancing, and running, and, 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 and expressing praise is the word of God. Yeah. So, so, you know, we ought to start taking praise breaks on. Like Bishop Willis was up preaching, he said, let's take a praise break because of what we ought to be shouting. Because it's the word that is our lifeline. It's the word that's our deliverer. The word of God is our healer. Everything is in the word of God. So we ought to praise him. I believe that God said he even exalt the word of God above his name. 
And the word of God is so necessary, it's above our own mere necessary natural food that we eat and drink every day. Amen. Thy word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Thy word is a lamp unto my Come on, Bible scholars. And a lamp unto my there's no direction without the word of God. We live and we move and, and we go about doing everything under the auspice or the direction under the Holy Spirit through the word of God. Somebody say, when is Jesus going to talk to me? I'm waiting for, 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 from the, for to hear him. I haven't heard him in a long time. I dare you to pick up your B-I-B-L-E. That's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. It's the B-I-B-L-E. That's our compass, y'all. Yes, yes, and the Bible says that the word of God was God-inspired. Yes. Men wrote it Amen. as they were inspired, inspired by Albert Einstein. By God. Men wrote it when they were inspired by the greatest scientists of America. By God. In other words, another translation is that is God breathed. Yeah. Jesus is the word. Yes, yes. Look in the Gospels. Yes, it, is. it says, in the beginning was the word. So when you think about the word of God, think about Jesus speaking to you. Amen. Amen. And he speak, he's already speaking to us. He, he started with, the, the, see, see, the word of God don't just start with Bishop Willis. If they had prayer today, that's the word of God. They had Sunday school today. All of it inclusively is the word of God. And if you ignore any aspect of it, you may be missing something vitally that may help you in your very crucial times throughout the course of the week. Because y'all know we do drive-by services now. Everything is quick and in a hurry, microwave now. Amen. And the pandemic really set the stage for it. Well, I watch it on the uh, online. Well, I call in the conference, and they got to the point where somebody just told me the other day, the, the members of, of the church, they, they come on Zoom, and then they just flash off. You don't see their face no more after a while. See, we, they, 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 the devil have convenience people. But it's really, you, he inconvenience people. I, I, as long as we can, we're going to keep our doors open. Now, if they shut us down, that, that's their business. Amen. Because I believe in this principle. I believe in this principle. I don't know about you, but I was glad when they said unto me. Amen. Wasn't you glad this morning when your spirit said unto you, let us go into the house of the Lord? Oh, Pastor Murray said, I was glad when they said unto me, let's go to church. Yeah, right. Same thing. Amen. But you got to want it for yourself. Yeah. If somebody got to drag you Amen. out of the church, I mean, out of your home to the church and push you and prime you to get to church, you don't have it. You need to get back and say, God, give me that desire again. Give me a mind to come into the house of God. It says, forsake and not yep. to assemble yep. yourself. Amen. Amen. Yep. Come on. As scripture goes on, the translation says, because people are not doing these things. Right. Some people are not doing these things. But that's not a part of uh, being faithful. It's all inclusive. Amen. He wants your body, mind, and soul. It's just not for you, but when we come together corporately, it's for everybody to come in as a community and share. Right. Give your testimony because we overcome. I heard you yesterday Amen. by the words of our testimony. Amen. Amen. We just need each other. And the song says we need each other to survive. Amen. Amen. All right, Missionary Sharon, I think you can read Hebrews 12. Hebrews 12, go ahead. Go ahead. 12 and 1? Yes, ma'am. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Stop right there. I, I, I heard this before I came here. Could you just look at your name and say, thank you for being one of the clouds of witnesses. Thank you for being one of the clouds of witnesses. See, if we read, if we read uh, uh, Hebrews 11 chapter, that's more than enough to encourage us. 
that's about the past patriots and the different ones that went before us and they still waiting on us, God, because they can't go before us, y'all. Hey, they waiting on us, y'all. Amen. But today, you living epistles that's read by men, you are a part of those clouds of witnesses letting everybody know that you are a witness, that somebody is still living safe. And you know what I saw? You know what I saw? Uh, not with this church, I'm so proud of y'all in the Lord. Amen. I heard the broadcast. I was, it, it, you, could, you could hear <laughs> the spirit of excellence on this church, on that broadcast. You know that this church is striving. The Bible says, I believe David had an excellent spirit. And do you know when people hear you, they know that spirit is coming from the church. You know where that come from? I'm talking about this church alone. This church, I can also hear sincerity. The spirit of sincerity. Many churches, they have lost their sincerity. And it's a substitute for mere entertainment yes, yes. but you are one of the clouds of witnesses that I can attest to that the spirit of sincerity still rests and it has to do with your commitment to Christ don't lose that your dedication to Christ not to the church building some people love the church Building, they worship the church building because their mama was there and their grandpa was there and they become a generational church a curse. It's not about the building. It's about this building. For we are the temple of the Holy Ghost whom God dwells in, who he works in. We are the one. We, this, is the, this building is idle. If nobody ever come here, know that this building right. that God ordained, yes. it's, it's, it's a church on wheels. Yes. It's mobile. All right. It's, All right. It's, a, it's, it's, it's not a, just a monument. Some people just focus on, oh, oh, the church is so many years old, it's a monument. But what about you being the church? Amen. Do you know that, that, that Jesus Christ, he, he, uh, uh, he, he purchased the church yes, with his blood? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And they don't take church. Yes, he see, see, I don't even say that name no more because it's almost like a curse word. Yes. They don't take. We're the church. Yes. They focus it on the building. Uh -huh. Thank God for the building. Amen. But they don't take the building even. Say, uh, it's not sacred to them anymore. Right. Everything goes on in the building, even even what they did in that back in the day, in the Bible days, uh -huh. idolatry in the temple, right. perversion in the temple, oh. orgies in the temple. Oh. It's the same thing that's going on right now in the temple because the spirit of sincerity is gone. I know I gave you the scripture, but I gotta go. Thus said the Lord. Come on. Yes. Come on. God is calling for the spirit of sincerity mm -hmm. to come back. To the church and then people won't be holding their phones the majority of the church holding their phones up in the air what are you holding your phone look at them three yes. it's three cameras that's enough Amen. right but you can't get nothing get enough. from god because everybody holding their phones and you're not only holding your phones at the pastor but you're holding your phones at the behinds you, I'm telling you, you see yeah. all kind of stuff. You holding your phones at other people yeah. on Facebook Live so other people can see because you have created a fan mail. You, 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 you drawing people to you yeah. on your face. Yeah. It's time for even musicians to get the camera off of them. Got the, right. got the camera. Go show. God, I want all the glory and none at all. I won't share my glory with none of them. 
And sometimes God gave this to me when I, I went to another church and I preached. He, sometimes we need, and I know this is important. Understand what I'm saying. Understand what perspective I'm coming from. Sometimes we need to shut off the cameras and the lights. And turn the attention off of us. And, and give God his due worship and glory. Amen. I just want to know, since you've been saved, many of you, have you, have, have you, the, the ground zero is the first step after you got saved. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? No, no, no. It does, for lack of word, it is, there, there's a Holy Ghost ness, lack, <laughs> in the church. I love it. Amen. <laughs> because everybody say they say, but what is God's order? But we need this. Oh, we need this power. Yes. Yes. I hear this. Gloria a Dios. Espíritu Santo. Because they're discounting, they're colonizing, they're doing away. But what we need in the church is the Holy Spirit. Acts 1. Come on, somebody. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Acts 1. Acts 1. Start with the first chapter. Maybe we will stop at the eighth verse. Look at the spiritless churches. And we, that's not, not talking about the building now. Let's talk about our soul. Yeah. After we got saved, our first priority yeah. is to ask God, is to ask Jesus to baptize me with the Holy Ghost. Then, Elder Tony, uh -huh. Bishop Willis, there's so many. You know how they say it's fake news going around? <laughs> but we need discernment because there's so much fake tongue. It's so much fake tongues. Yes, yes. And if we don't have discernment, we're going to think it's a real thing. Right, right, right. The Holy Ghost language is a language. Yes. It's not an earthly language. My God. I don't want to go too far. I said, the Father, I praise him and I honor him. The Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. We need the Holy Ghost. See, sometimes we discount the Holy Ghost. But do you know he's down here on earth? Do you know he's a person? He's not just a tongue. That's just part of it. But that's the evidence. It's more of, of, of the Bible speaks about speaking in tongues. It's more of evidence to the world. Amen. But we edify ourselves. Right. And we and there's an order to that too. But the point is that it's not taught in the church. What I love about Apostle Mitchell was that was priority. After you get saved, they, they had look look. It's kind of like a motivation club called tearing service. <laughs> and you had people that loved you and want to work with you and ushered you into the presence of God, and that was great motivation. So when you go home on your own, that fire, which is the churches, is missing now, many, many of the churches. He says that he would baptize us with the Holy Ghost, the baptism of the Holy Ghost and the baptism of fire. fire. You could tell when the Holy Ghost and the fire is missing out of the church. Right. Because it, you, you can look good in the church. People exert so much energy with those praise breaks. But I say it's like an animal just, just, just running and exerting energy and it's, it's nothing coming out. And, and now the pastors, they rather just shout their members before they encourage them to get the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It's just so much stuff that's out of order. But for those that are seeking for the Holy Ghost, and for those that have lost the Holy Ghost, right. oh. and for those that need to be, yeah, we not all, we all in this, y'all. For those that need to be refilled, right. we need to ask God one of those categories. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. To baptize me, yes. to restore me, yes. and to refill me. Yes. But sometimes when you got the fire, you need to take some time and say, refresh me. Yes. Yes. 
Because oftentimes, more times than not, we need a refreshing. Oh, my soul is thirsty, and I want. So you're busy praying for everybody else, and you're an entity, you're a prayer warrior. That's good. But take out some time to get something for your soul. You need something before you pour out. You need God to pour into you. And what I'm asking God, I was teary-eyed yesterday. I was crying out to God, being transparent to him, telling him what I need spiritually. That's none of y'all business. But I said, God, all I want is a spiritual blessing. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. If God got handouts, that's what I want. If God is allowing me to have uh, my bucket list out, that's what I want first. I want a spiritual blessing. Because that's where it's at. That's going to keep me going, y'all. If I, David said, take not your Holy Spirit from me. And the, and the wine it says, whatever you do, Lord, don't take it. Your joy. That has to do with the Holy Spirit, too. Because without the Holy Spirit, there's no joy over in the Holy Ghost. Without the Holy Spirit, there's no peace. There's no rest. What do you think we have? How do you think we have contentment every day? It's through. It's through the Holy Ghost. And if you start relying on yourself and stop relying on the Holy Ghost, you, you'll be empty. But when you rely on the Holy Spirit, you'll be filled. Look at the church world. And look at the world itself. They are drunken mm-hmm. with the cares of this life. Yeah. They are drunken for what, what, whatever it is. That's the world's treasure. That's the church world's treasure. But he says, be not drunken with wine wherein is access. Uh-huh. But the church, I'm talking to you. He that has an ear, let him hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. But he's telling us to be filled. We can't afford. Well, no, no, no. Let me back it up. A lot of people say I'm filled. Yeah, you full of it. See? You full of whatever. That's why you carnal. That's why you worldly. We got the carnal church. We got the worldly church. We got the church of Laodicea that's lukewarm. And God said, I'm so sick of you that I spew you out of my mouth. That's the word. That's the word. Amen. So we can't just say, be filled, y'all, and leave it at that. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Because there's another power, y'all, yes. and there's another spirit that people are filled with. It's called yes. witchcraft. See? And that power works, too. Yes. But there's a greater power Amen. being filled with the spirit. Amen. That's what the church needs to, uh, pastors need to teach on more than ever to the church about walking in the spirit. We was taught well through Bishop Mitchell. We was taught well. Amen. Bishop, Bishop Mitchell was saying, I just want y'all to be spiritually minded. Yes. Because he did not want our focus to be on worldly things. Because those are the very things that weakens the church. And causes the church to be off focus. All right, let me go with my honors again. God keeps shifting me. But I I do appreciate God for the shepherd of this house. Bishop Willis. Man, you went crazy yesterday. (laughs) I heard the whole thing. It was meant for me to hear it. He spoke about a drawback spirit. Yeah. But Jesus says, can I tag team with you a little bit? He said, draw nigh unto me. And he's ready to draw nigh unto you. The Baptist preacher says, you make one step and Jesus doesn't make another. <laughs> Y'all hear that? But Jesus, he does not want you to draw back. Slide back. Go back. If you look back, look back where God has brought you from. But don't look back to go back. The Bible says, remember Lot's wife. It's a reason why the Bible says, remember Lot's wife. And some of y'all don't even have to say, remember Lot's wife. Some of y'all can say, I remember one of my relatives. I I remember one of my coworkers. I remember some of the church folks that I grew up with. They look back. To go back. Demons loving this present world. Yes, yes. He looked back. For, for, see, we, the pastors need to speak about it so much. I heard you speak about the mind some years ago. But another thing that we need to pinpoint on teaching our, our members is about the mind. 
and how the devil has devices and strategies against our mind. And we, we don't just leave it and I'm going to tell you about the devil's devices that comes against our mind. We better teach about the, 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 the Holy Spirit's devices to combat Amen. the devil's devices. Yeah. For Apostle Paul says, brethren and sisters, let me say it like that. We are not to be ignorant of the devil's devices. Let me, let me rephrase that. We, it, when we get sharpened in the word of God, we are not ignorant not. of the devil's devices. But you, you are, you're going to be ignorant of the devil's devices if you don't get the knowledge of the word of God. Right. Right. Amen. That's why you have to spend time in the word of God. You have to. You have to spend time. That's the only thing that's going to, to make you fat in the spirit. Amen. That's the only thing you got to fight with. Do you realize that's your offensive and defensive weapon? The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. God. And somebody say, I'm ready for the devil. I'm getting ready to walk out my house and go to my job. Is something wrong with you? You better be ready for the devil when you're in in your pajamas (laughs) under the covers of the bed. Do y'all hear me? What am I saying? 24-7. Oh, God. In your dreams. You can live saving your dreams. Right. Some, some, sometimes I have made decisions in my dream. You have to fight the devil in your dreams. Yes, you do. Amen. Amen. But as never before, I want to encourage the church. Draw nigh unto God. And he will draw nigh unto. We're not, we're not saints of God that have drawn back unto perdition. That's right. That's right. God has called us for such a time as this. To move forward. Forgetting those things that are behind you. And reaching for those things ahead. Pressing. It's going to take something to make it to the kingdom of God. It's going to take a press. Amen. 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 I'm reminded about the children of Israel. They were so discombobulated and, and worried and fearful about the enemy behind them, Pharaoh and his army, and a red sea in front of them. So Moses went to God interceding on the behalf of Israel, and God said, what are you, uh, I'm, let me say it like this to bring it up today. What are you coming to me for? Tell the children of Israel to move forward. Amen. Yeah. Come on, come on now. Ain't nothing behind you. Come on. Uh-oh. Like that. Come on. And all of the trash that's in your head, you can delete that too and undo it. Leave the trash in the past. Amen. And yeah, you could you could fit that in your in the category that you want to. But it's time to move forward, church. Yes, it is. Amen. Don't draw back. Yeah. But move forward. Yeah. It, it, I believe it was a song or a movie called Which Way Is Up? Mm-hmm. It's only one way for the saints. That's right. Psalms 121. I will look up yeah. unto the hills from which cometh my help. Sometimes we are, I'm still in this from Missionary Sharon. She brought a message at number one. She said, just simply say, Lord, help me. Yes. We're not too big. We're not too small. We're not too educated. Yes. We're not too rich. We're not too poor. No. Red, yellow, black, and white. Yes. All of God's children is precious in his sight. We ought to ask the Lord, help. Lord, help me. Help. Help. For all of my help yes. cometh. From the Lord. And then it goes on to say, it boasts on the Lord, the Lord who maketh the heaven and the earth. One of our benefits is that I will boldly, confidently, gladly say with all assurance that the Lord is my helper. Bishop Willis, you went crazy. And you and guess what? Guess what? You've been an example for years. You've been my counselor for years. As zealous as I was, let me tell on myself, <laughs> working at CT all those years, and I was frantic and coming back and forth to Bishop uh, Missionary Willis getting advice. I'm off on Fridays, Bishop Willis. I want to do something for the Lord. And they, with their reserved selves, sweetly and kindly said, Elder Raglan, 
but you ought to wait on the Lord. to do it for God if I could just I got some wiggle room now I'm off on Fridays I could do something for the Lord say wait on the Lord and guess what I had to wait the, the Lord opened up a door for me when I was off on Sundays it wasn't time and that's a whole sermon because you could go ahead of God and then sometimes you delay your blessings. You hold your blessings up when you go ahead of God. God don't all the time destroy you, but that's your chastening. Your ch sometimes it's your chastening and, 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 and your, 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 your behind whipping because you went ahead uh, of God. And God in all his love will suffer it to be for you to go prematurely and immaturely. Yeah, he will bless you, but not fully like, like, like he would if you were to. Wait on the Lord. He will renew your strength. So wait, I say. They that wait on the Lord. And you know what I hear this? This was before I came here. Elder Marvin Frazier, I honor you. Sister Tierra Frazier, I honor you. But this is what I heard for both of y'all. When I was listening to the broadcast yesterday, I heard elevation. My God. I show love by by Sunday. Sister Tierra, use your voice. Use your voice. People need to hear your voice. It was beautiful the way you emceed yesterday. Beautiful. And as you continue to use your voice, you're going to see growth. You're going to see increase. But watch this. It's just not you using your voice. But when God get behind it, when Jesus get behind it, when the Holy Ghost get behind it to accommodate you, he perfects that which concerning you. Yes. So continue to use what you got. Use it. Your voice is a seed. Keep planting that seed and allow God to water it and allow him to give increase. All right. Elder Tony, increase. Yes. Elevation. I hear it in your ministry. Keep going forward. But I want to say this. I want you too, especially you too, to be examples for the church. Just like the children of Israel had to do. Hold up the arms of Moses. You know what that means symbolically. See, leaders need leaders that need leaders. There's, there's nobody should be taking over or trying to take over. Remember David and the son? Yes. Yes. Yeah. But it, it can only be one leader. I taught this in another church, and I didn't realize what was going on altogether in my head when I was teaching. I was teaching spontaneous, but God was dropping it. There's only one pastor. I don't care what they're doing right. in other churches. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about God's order. Amen. Right. Amen. There's Amen. only one pastor. Now they got two pastors. They got two pastors up preaching at the same time. Yep. Look, could you imagine the people here like bobbleheads? <laughs> now, now, which one is if one make a mistake and the other one speaks the truth, you're going to confuse the people. Yeah. Same thing with this trick of the devil. A lot of people say, I'm not going to church no more. I have a tele-evangelist, uh, social media, such and such, uh, conference line, uh, Zoom, pastor. So now you're listening to him more than you listen to your pastor. You know why? The trick of the devil is because you're out of church. Right. And you can just tell inconvenience convenes devil lie. It's a trick of the devil. Look what he has done to the mass of the people. But it goes back to people got to make the choice. It's got to be in you. And it starts with love. The Bible speaks so much about if you love me. The love of God. See, before the Holy Ghost even came upon the church, the early church, they had the love of God. The patriots. They didn't even have the baptism in the Holy Ghost. Right, the Holy right. Ghost came upon them. But the love of God constraineth. Look at Joseph yeah. and Potiphar's wife. Yeah. 
tempted day after day, my brother, tempted day after day, where he was alone. This was in secret. Uh-oh, another message. What you do in secret counts. Just as well as what you do in public. But in secret, Potiphar's wife thought she would, hey, let me try him now. So she forced herself on him. But he started preaching to her. <laughs> How could I do such a thing? Right. Such a wicked Amen. thing. Amen. And it's just not a wicked thing against you and a wicked thing against But it's a wicked God, thing against my God. My God. My Why? God. Because the love of God, yes. it constraineth Amen. him. We ought to take note the love of God should constrain us. Amen. Compel us to do what we should do. Amen. Hebrews 11 and 1. Hebrews 11 and 1. Amen. Amen. Hebrews 11. I, I want to encourage the church. I'm dropping mail, y'all. Just like Pastor dropped mail uh, yesterday. See, I didn't know I was listening. And you dropped mail, Missionary Willis. <laughs> I want to honor my wife on today. Oh, my brother.